Join us in this featured garage vlog where the V8 Swap Supra Drift Car gets heavily modified in an effort to maximize steering angle. Additionally, this pile of hot garbage will get slammed on its nuts to increase street cred. Who said the Mark III Supra can't have angle? Who said the Mark III Supra can't be sexy? Damn the naysayers and prepare Uranus for this episode of the V8 Swapped Supra Drift Build! Welcome back to another featured garage vlog! In this episode of the V8 Swap Supra Drift Build, we set forth on building a homebrew angle kit for that hella dopalicious angle necessary to get the audience hyped as fuck! The first step in accomplishing this task is to lengthen the lower control arms. I won't get into too much detail on this because I know there is a company currently getting into doing this exact same thing, but any fabricator with their salt can connect the dots and make this happen. Since adjustable upper control arms no longer exist for the Mark III Supra, I scooped up some swedges and rod ends to make my own. Unfortunately, since we're dealing with parts from Japanoland, that makes it a bit difficult to source the correct size rod ends to thread into standard swedges, because the main bolt to connect the upper control arm to the subframe is 14mm in diameter. While 14mm rod ends do exist, their corresponding swedges apparently do not, thus requiring complete upper control arm fabrication. When lengthening the control arms, of course, the tie rods must be equally lengthened. So, that's what the fuck I'm gonna do! In order to round off this homemade angle kit, I redrilled the outer tie rod mounting point on the knuckle, but later went on with a different design that involved cutting the entire extension off for the tie rod and making my own. However, in the end, I wasn't happy with how any of it turned out. Everybody, are you ready to work out with me and my friends? Then let's go! We're going to learn some really cool exercise dances. Barbie! Give yourself a hug really big! You deserve a really big hug! Let's be cool, get some thumbs up right here! Yes! Show me that thumbs up because you did it! Ah, Oh, I didn't see you there. Okay, look, we got some problems, so I gotta I gotta talk on camera for a little bit. Oh yeah. Um, this whole angle kit thing has this not, it's not going very well. The lengthening of the lower control arms worked out pretty well. The upper control arms are so-so. I still haven't been able to find the right part number for the correct ball joint. Fuck. For the taper and the factory knuckles. Right now I'm using some sort of, I don't know, it's meant for a, a pinto spindle. It's not correct. Fuck! Um, but it's okay enough to mock things up. Anyway, so that's kind of so-so. And the worst part of this all, it's the, uh, the tie rods. So with the knuckle design that I have now, how close the mounting location is for the ball joint for that or tie rod, it's kind of put me in a bind in that I had to make a weird angular tie rod. I'll put a, I'll show it here. What the fucking fuck? Who the fuck? Fuck! And uh, that, the design of that made it really flexy and shitty. Um, and it can kind of rotate and move around. Uh, it, I don't like it. I just don't like how this whole thing is going right now. It's just too shade tree. 
Like there, there are some things I'm totally willing to do, like the engine mounts and the transmission mount, that was super awesome, it just worked. These little seat mounts, they're, they're fucking sweet, man. Um, but when it comes to suspension geometry or steering geometry, I'd, one, I'd really like it to be fully adjustable, um, which right now it is almost, except Ackerman is not adjustable. And um, I really need that to be adjustable because I have these really funky fixed mounting points on the knuckles right now. Um, so, fuck that, bought not built, hashtag bought not built. I, I just bought an angle kit for all this. I bought it from Funo Auto Tuning. It's some, I think it's a Polish based company. So it wasn't cheap, man. But it's fully adjustable. Like camber, caster, Ackerman, uh, steering angle stop. The motion ratio for the front suspension is adjustable. That's how adjustable this is. Ooh. Ah. So that's really cool. Um, and it has the correct I guess tie rods for it, just to kind of, you know, snake around things when you're at full lock. Anyway, another another thing with all this, um, I know I haven't really disclosed it throughout this build series, but I'm building this car to be, um, or I'm following the rules for FD, not that I'm ever gonna compete in FD, but I'm thinking in the, in the ahead, thinking in the future, that when I'm done doing this drifting stuff with this car, I can sell it to somebody you know, as a full turnkey drift car, and I can sell it to someone who's, you know, maybe they want to take it to uh, like Pro-Am events or something, and it's a full everything, it's good quality components and parts and, and what have you. So I think the whole shade tree mechanic, DIY ankle kit, that's not really, that's gonna be a hard thing to put, you know, in the Craigslist ad. Did it myself, angle kit, you know. That's, that's one of those things that's a little, uh, eh. so yeah, I quit. I caved in and I bought an angle kit. Now it's, it's been a long time since the last video and I don't really know how long it's gonna be until the next one. So, FeatureGarage.com, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and until next time.